What's up everyone, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, and I have a super sweet, dusty old booster box of Apocalypse for you. This came out in June 2001 and was the third set in the Invasion block. Um, and I'm pretty pumped about opening it. I have opened Apocalypse before. This box is a little bit different. The amazing people at mtgcardmarket.com sent this. And um, if you get a minute, shoot on over to their website. Their link will be in the description below. I know they have excellent shipping options. They ship internationally. Everybody who's bought from them that I've talked to has had a great experience. And they're a huge channel supporter. And even if you're not in the market to buy something right now, maybe shoot over to their Facebook page, which I'll link below, and just tell them what's up. Um, tell them thanks for supporting MTG Headquarters. And again, uh, thank you, MTG Card Market, uh, one of the longest standing channel sponsors, and I appreciate everything. With that all said, uh, let's find ourselves a crazy foil pernicious deed or vindicate. Um, or maybe Frexian Arena. This is, as you guys know, from the era of super spendy foils. Um, while Apocalypse doesn't have anything totally crazy, uh, it does have some uh, definitely worthwhile chase rares. Mostly in foil. Uh, none of the actual rares are worth a fortune. Um, so you really have to get pretty lucky and find a shiny version of one of the things that are that are played uh, either in Legacy or EDH or Vintage or whatever um, in Eternal format. So let's get right on to it. And of course it's white text on white is always difficult to read. I'll go through the comments slowly so you can kind of see them. We have Fire and Ice. It's our first uncommon. Death Mutation. Bloodfire Kavu. And our very first rare is a Feverant Charge. A one and a Mardu. <laughs> White, black, red. And Cham, whenever a creature you control attacks, it gets plus two, plus two, till end of turn. Could see that be, a, we could, I could see that of, uh, you know, being a, a set. Oh, and I will save a pack for you. Uh, you know who you are, you're always asking me to save you packs. And I shall. I didn't really go through s very slowly there. We have an evasive action, Bloodfire Kabu, Order and Chaos split card, and we have a Penumbra Worm, 7 mana for a 6-6 Trampler. When it is put into the graveyard from play, put a 6-6 Black Worm Creature token with Trample into play. It's the worm that keeps on giving. Yes, it's the never-ending worm. Wait, no, that wasn't very good. I just love these old cards. Uh, the art just just takes me back. Rock a sanctuary. Gerard's verdict. Sylvan messenger, and a spirit monger. A notable card for sure. Um, five mana, three colorless, a black and a green. Six six. Whenever it deals damage to a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. You can also regenerate it or change its color. Pretty gonzo. So how many of you were playing during Apocalypse? What was the limited scene like? What was the, the standard scene like? <laughs> Gotta love Jilt. Thanks again, uh, MTG Card Market. It's... Uh, with everything going on with Game Finder right now, I uh, I don't have much time or money to, to buy packs like this, so thank you guys. Whirlpool Drake, Dwarven Patrol, Flowstone Charger, and we have a Mask of Intolerance, two colorless for an artifact that says, 
At the beginning of each player's upkeep, there if there are four or more basic land types among the lands player that player controls, Mask of Intolerance deals three damage to him or her. Actually working hard at um, putting the finishing touches on Game Finder right now. In fact, I've moved a lot of the physical perks over to the Game Finder website. So for those of you that wanted to back but only had PayPal, uh, you can now find them on the GameFinder.co website. And uh, they'll be up there for just a limited time until the app comes out. Grave Defiler, Penumbra Kabu, Emblazoned Golem, and a Rock Evolver. Two and a red for a 2-2 two -two with Kicker of one and a white or a single blue. If you paid the one and a white, it comes into play with two 1-1 one -one counters. And whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. So lifelink. If you pay the blue, it gets a 1-1 one -one counter and has flying. Very good. Seems like a very good card. Am I misreading that? Seems pretty ridic. Ridiculous. Emblazoned Golem again. This is a very small set, so we'll see a lot of dupes. Martyr's Tomb. Kabu Howler. And a Guided Passage for Teamer Colors. Reveal the card in your library. An opponent chooses from among them a creature card, a land card, a non-creature card, a non-land card. You put the chosen cards into your hand and shuffle your library. That seems pretty spicy. I mean, especially in a constructed deck. I mean, even if they're going to try to choose the worst stuff, it's all still pretty good. Captain's Maneuver, Raka Sanctuary, Whirlpool Drake, and a Chromath. There we go. That's a sweet pull. One of each color for 5-5 five, five that has multiple abilities. For white-black, destroy target uh, creature blocking or blocked by Chromath. Blue-red, it gains flying. Black-green, regenerate. Red-white, it gets plus one plus one till end of turn. Green-blue, put it on top of its owner's library. That's pretty nuts. Good old Chromat. So yeah, if you guys uh, wanted to still support Game Finder, I'll put a link in the description below for you to scoop up some sweet swag. Ebony Tree Folk, Minotaur Illusionist, Foul Presence, and we have a Death Grasp. There we go. That's definitely notable rare. Uh, X, white, black. It deals X damage to target creature or player. You gain X life. Good old Death Grasp. That art. That art, though. I mean, that, that art, though. And look at that. You just don't get cards like that anymore. They just don't make them like they used to. Kabu Holler, Whirlpool Drake, Necra Sanctuary, and Gerard Capuchin. Three and two white, three, four. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life for each card in target opponent's hand. Pay three and a white, tap target creature, play this ability only if Gerard is attacking. It's a very good ability. Certainly limited play. Tapping stuff down is always good. Foul Presence, Penumbra Kavu, Martyr's Tomb, and a Planar Despair. Three and two black. Sorcery, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn for each basic land type among the lands you control. Yowza. So with some planning, that could be pretty devastating. We have Dwarven Patrol. Divisionary Tactics, Gerard's Verdict, and a False Dawn. One in a white. Colored mana symbols on all permanents you control and on all cards you own that aren't in play become white until end of turn. Draw a card. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
I'm sure that was a thing. Dega Sanctuary. We have a Fire and Ice. Tidal Courier. And a Pernicious D. There we go. There's a nice pull. One in a black and a green. Pay Axe, Sacrifice, Pernicious Deed. Destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost of X or less. And look at that art. So no wonder that that card is... The foil versions of that card are... 50 plus dollars. Not only is it... It's crazy good, but it's also crazy beautiful. We have Order and Chaos. Aether Mutation. Suppress. And a Goblin Trenches. One, uh, a red and a white. Sacrifice a land. Put two, one, one Goblin. Uh, red and white Goblin Soldier Creature tokens into play. Definitely a fun card to draft. It's like a ticking time bomb. Enlistment Officer. Suppress. Minotaur Illusionist. And Cavu Mauler. Six mana, four and two green for a four, four Trampler. When it attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each other attacking Kavu. So, Kavu Tribal, anyone? Martyr's Tomb, we might have a foil in here. Necro Sanctuary. Dragon Arch. A Lanwar Waste. That's a nice little pull, too. Beautiful card. Green, black, pain land. And we'll have a foil. Standard Bearer. Okay. 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 We have Death Mutation. Uh, what? Dode Kapod? I'm not sure about that. We might have a foil in here, too. Coalition Flag. We have Suffocating Blast. One, two blue and a red. Counter target spell and Suffocating Blast deals three damage to target creature. Beautiful Goblin Legionnaire. Look at that. Gosh, that's good looking. Beautiful, beautiful card. I don't know if that's a random common that's worth a ton or not, but that card is beautiful. And back-to-back -back foils, B2 the dubs. Coalition flag. Phyrexian Gargantua. Raka Sanctuary, and Wild Research. Two in a red, one in a white. Search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal that card, put it into your hand, then discard a card at random from your hand, then shuffle your library. One in a blue. Search your library for an instant card. Reveal that card, put it in your hand, and discard that card at random from your hand, then discard a card at random from your hand, then shuffle your library. That is the TLDR version where you actually read it. Guy's Balance, Tidal Courier, Captain's Maneuver, an Unnatural Selection. Oh, that a blue. Awesome. Uh, for enchantment, pay one. Choose creature type other than wall. Target creature's type becomes that type until end of turn. Spicy. So thanks again, uh, MTG Car Market. And guys, if you're looking for singles... Um, Definitely at least check them out. Uh, I really appreciate it. They've been a great channel supporter, and I'm definitely not doing enough to, to, to really help promote them. So uh, if you see some tweets from me and things like that, I'm going to try to throw some love their way. I'm very thankful for their support. Illusion and Reality. Flowstone Charger. Penumbra Kavu. And we have an Overgrown Estate. Black, Green, White. Sacrifice a land, you gain three life. Enchantment, that is. Enchantment, that is. All right. Moving right along here. 
on a Sanctuary. Death Mutation. Power Stone Minefield. Oh, and we have a Foil Rare. Oh, no, we don't. That was a rare. I must have missed an uncommon. Or no, it might be a foil uncommon. Yeah, it is. Foul Presence. Look at the uncommon. Look at these. I mean, it's is it any wonder why these are so highly sought after? Beautiful. Lay of the Land. Huh. We have Evasive Action, Illuminate. It looks like the middle of the box is where all the foils are. Illusion of Reality. Okay, now we have a foil rare that's black. Could it be a Phyrexian Arena? Could it be? Nope, it's a creature. And it's a Necrovolver. Hoo-wee! Looks uh, so pretty. Two and a black. With a kicker of one in a green or white. If you pay the one in the green, Necrovolver comes in and play with two 1-1 one -one counters on it. Pay the white. It comes with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. Uh, don't think this would be in the, the crazy valuable uh, section. But that's our foil rare. And that, my friends, is sometimes how the cookie crumbles. At least we got to together hope for a Frexian Arena. Still lot, lots of good cards to pull, like Vindicate, stuff like that. Vidalian Mystic, Illuminate, Jungle Barrier, and Necrovolver. <laughs> well, I just read that. So yeah, all the, all the, looks like all the foils are in the middle of the box. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but that was this thing. Brass Herald, Foul Presence, uh, and a Sanctuary, and a Legacy Weapon. Hey, all right. Definitely part of the uh, storyline, right? White, blue, black, red, green, remove target permanent from the game. If Legacy Weapon will be put into the graveyard from anywhere, reveal Legacy Weapon and shuffle it into its owner's library instead. So no notable pull there for sure, right? Good old Legacy Weapon. We have Dega Sanctuary. We have another foil in here. Life and Death. That's a foil in common. So we have a Yabimaya Coast. So that's a good pull there. Green, blue, Painland. And we have a Brass Herald. Six colorless, 2-2. Two, two. Comes into play, choose a creature type. When it comes into play, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all creature cards the chosen type revealed in the way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. Creatures of chosen type get plus one plus one. I don't care. I, I just love these foils. These foils are in great shape too. So sometimes they get really bent up and now they will get bent now that I opened them. Squeeze Revenge. Emblazoned Golem. Grave Defiler. And a Vindicate. Here we go. Now we're getting some good pulls. Uh, destroy target permanent. Easy peasy, simple. One white and a black. And we have a foil bloodfire infusion. Absolutely in the middle of the box, huh? All the foils. I'm sure they were less sophisticated back then about sorting their cards, too. Jungle Barrier, Order and Chaos, Divisionary Tactics, and a Last Stand. All right. Look at the art on this card. I mean, there's just nothing like this. One of every color. Target opponent loses two life for each swamp you control. It deals damage equal to the number of mountains you control to target creature. Put a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token for each Forest you control, you gain two life. For each plains you control, draw a card. For each island you control, then discard that many cards from your hand. That is a lot of text. Wall of text, as they say. But we definitely pulled some, some of the fun cards from this set, and that's what these are all about. Obviously, 
you're not going to pull your money back on these vintage boxes, but I still love, it's my favorite thing to open, and, and I know you guys love it too. Mine Extraction, Suppress, Sylvan Messenger, and Jungle Barrier. We already went through that, and we have a, oh wait, that's an uncommon. And we have a set of Oliver, one and a blue, one one with a kicker. If you paid the one in the red, it comes in play with two one ones and a first strike. If you paid the green, it gets a one and has trample. Counter, that is. Looks like we're down like the last six or seven packs here. Let's see if we can find a Phyrexian, Are Phyrexian Arena. That'd be another interesting pull. Phyrexian Gargantua. Sylvan Messenger. Dega Sanctuary. And Desolation Giant. Two and two red for a 3-3 three, three with a double white kicker. When Desolation Giant comes into play, destroy all other creatures you control if you pay the kicker cost. Uh... Destroy all their creatures instead. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you definitely only cast this for the kicker, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe there's scenarios where maybe you wouldn't. Them Goblin Legionnaires, though. We have a Goblin Ringleader. Haunted Angel. Fire Nice. <laughs> for Axian Arena. There we go. <laughs> well, we got all the notable pulls out of this box, so I'm happy about that. One and two black. Or, no, there's more notables, but I mean, uh, the Vindicate, Phyrexian Arena, definitely the lands like Battlefield Forge, Landmar Ways, Shivan Reef, Pernicious D we opened. Um, I guess Mystic Snake is one that we missed. Um, you know, Foil Spirit Mongers, st stuff like that. Um, but, but overall, I'd have to say pretty pretty happy with um the pulls good box this would have been a great box back in the day probably right <laughs> see the sanctuary night and day i love those split cards enlistment officer and prophetic bowl hey Three and a black, uh, blue and a red. Deals four damage to target creature or player. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of those cards in your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. Good old prophetic bolt. Down to our last four packs. So thank you again, MTG Card Market, guys. If you get a chance, go check them out. I'll put a link to them in the description below. I'm not saying you have to buy anything. Just would be great if you checked them out. I think that... The, their service and prices should speak for themselves, and everything I've heard has been great, so give them a chance. Um, Illusion of Reality. Night and Day. Come on, another split. Oh, Goblin Ringleader and a Lightning Angel. Okay. One and a Red, White, Blue. Three, four, Flying Haste, and, a not, and uh, Vigilance, basically. Spicy card. Spicy card. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I've definitely got big plans. Lots of openings coming up. I've just recorded a standard deck tech of my standard deck for Dragons of Tarkir. Even though I'm not winning very often with it, it is what I'm playing. So keep an eye out for that. Haunted Angel with what looks like maybe a misprint. I don't know. It might be part of it. Dragon Arch, Squeeze Revenge, and Spectral Links. Two, one in a white. Protection from green. Pay in a black to regenerate it. Seems like that would be a real pain in the butt at times. Jungle Barrier, Cedar Sanctuary, Bedalian Mystic, and a Mystic Snake. <laughs> hey, that's what we were talking about, right? There we go. Two, two, one green and two white. You may play Mystic Snake at any time you can play an instant. So for those new players, it basically has Flash. When it comes into play, counter target spell. Very good card. We see that uh, there's a card in Dragons kind of like that. And that card is very good too. The Flyer though, which is even better. Aether Mutation. Dodicapod. Do do kebab. Not sure about that one. Illuminate. And a Battlefield Forge. Alright, that's a good pull. 
Red White Painland. Last two packs. I hope you guys are having fun. If you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second to crush that subscribe button so you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by also hitting that like button. It helps spur me on and uh, reminds me to uh, keep them them vintage or older openings coming. Cavu Hollow, Howler, uh, Videlian Mystic, Life and Death, and Anavolver. Three and a green for three three. Kicker. Uh, these Volver cycles are a lot of text. Pay one and a blue. Comes in a play with two one one counters and flying. Pay black. It has a one one, but also has pay three life regenerate. So very um, versatile. All right, last pack. Let's find that foil. Nope, no foil. <laughs> I was hoping uh, maybe we finish with a suspense. Uh, suspenseful pull, but let's see what we have. Enlistment Officer, Brass Herald, Necro Sanctuary, and a Dagavolver. Okay, the last one in that Volver cycle. 1-1, uh, one, one, uh, if you kick it, one in a black, it comes into play with two 1-1 one, one counters and has pay three life and regenerate. If you paid the red, uh, it comes into play with a 1-1 one, one counter on it and has first strike. So let's take a look at some of our pulls. Thank you again, mtgcarmarket.com. Guys, go check them out. Check out their prices. Show them some love so they can keep supporting the channel, which would be awesome. Um, and Evolver, so we got Battlefield Forge, Mystic Snake, Notable, Lightning Angel, Prophetic Bolt, Frexing Arena. Um, Last Stand is cool. Vindicate. A couple foils. Yabby My Coast. Legacy Weapon. Our foil rare was Neck Revolver. Not great. But we have a beautiful, beautiful foul presence. A natural selection. Beautiful Goblin Legionnaire. Landmar Wastes. Pernicious Deed. Uh, I may miss something too. Chromat. I wasn't playing at this time. Spirit Monger is notable. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this opening. I hope you guys are having a great, great week. I'm going to get back to working on Game Finder. And shooting some more uh, deck techs for you. And I uh, hope you have a great, great rest of your day. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists. From MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.